Let's talk about CUCM licensing. As you might expect, in a product this big, there are different license types that apply to it. Uh, first kind is an application, or sometimes Cisco calls them node licenses. You need these licenses for every physical call manager server box. I, I, well, we're in a new world, right? Physical or virtual for each server that you have running. How's that? In the CUCM cluster, uh, you're going to need a node license. So, for instance, you've got your publisher, first server to go in, needs a node license, right? You add a subscriber, needs a node license. That, that essentially gives you the right, gives you the license to run that server. Now, you also have software licenses. The software licenses are what give you the upgrades between major versions of call manager. So, you know, you got your node license and you purchased it. It's running with, we'll say, CUCM uh, 6.0 or, or, you know, whatever version you're running, right? Uh, then CUCM 7.x comes out and then CUCM 8 and 9 and all, all these new versions come out. You're like, oh man, that's got some cool features. I want to upgrade it. That's where a software license comes in. So you're going to have a software license in addition to the node license if you want to upgrade. But I would say probably where the bulk of your cost, where a lot of your cost will come in, is in these device license units, DLUs. Think of these as like IP phone credits. Right? I don't know why I think of them this way. You know when you go to um, an arcade, do they have those anymore? Uh, where uh, you got all the you know all the video games that you play. Like the the really lame games are like one token. You put a token in, and it's like oh I can play Frogger, you know, or whatever. You know, it's it's the old old school ones. Uh, but you get the really cool games. You know, you strap yourself in and go into VR mode or you know whatever. Yeah, I, I just walk by in the mall and see the kids do it. I don't do it anymore. Uh, but you know those are like five tokens to put it in there because it's a really cool experience. It's the same thing with DLUs. Device license units are not they're not like okay, one is for one phone. It's, it's like, okay, how cool of a phone do you want? That really dictates your device license units. Let me show you. I'm going to bring you up uh, into call manager. Matter of fact, I think this is the first time in this series we're seeing the CUCM administration window. Oh, you know, moment of silence. Okay, this is what it looks like, right? It's web-based, GUI, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go to the system menu, shoot down to licensing, and do this license unit calculator. Cisco's like, we are going to be so convenient, we're going to tell you exactly how much money you have to give us. Well, maybe not dollars, but at least credits. So they list every model of phone that is supported for that version of call, uh, CUCM. Now, there's probably some as, as new phones come out there that aren't going to be on this list, but you can see, okay, uh, right here, total consumed uh, per device, units consumed, I should say, per device. So, you know, really lame phone, like the Cisco 7902, it's one that you, you know, stick in a break room, got the little, uh, you know, one line, it's, it's, it really is a lame phone, if you look at it, a little paper that you write on uh, for, the, for the numbers, doesn't even have a screen, they're like, okay, that's one credit, that's Frogger, right? Now, as you go up in, in coolness of these phones, they start graduating how many device license units you have. Now, I would say the mainstream phones, like the Cisco 7940, 41, 41, G. Like these are the normal business phones that you put on people's desks in cubicles or conference rooms. And the 7960, same thing there. Um, those consume four device license units. So um, it's it's a you know when people initially look, they're like, oh, that's not that bad. Uh, until you start saying, oh, well, each phone is going to consume four of them. That really adds up quick. Okay. So the order process for these licenses looks something like this. You pick up the phone, you call your Cisco sales rep, you're like, hey, I want a 1,000 DLUs to add to my uh, cluster. And they'll say, okay, what is the MAC address of your publisher? Because the publisher is the license overlord of your cluster. Uh, it is the one that holds all of these license files. And so if you ever change out the publisher or the publisher's ever down, uh, things can't figure out if, if there are licenses available. All of the subscriber services servers run what's called a license manager service service so they they go to the license server and they say hey do do I have licenses available to register these five phones and the license server says yes you do or no you don't and and uh, the subscriber servers respond to that so obviously this publisher server again steps up and says I really am the king of the network protect me because I I, I am the one that runs all the licenses so the the sales uh, rep puts your order through. Uh, you'll get an email from Cisco, and they'll say, you know, log into Cisco forward slash go forward slash license. Here's your special key, and and you download this. XML file that has a little hash in there that binds itself to your publisher, and that increases your device license units. A couple items of note. First off, Cisco has something that they call overdraft. 
which allows you to go above your device license units that are registered, which is very nice. Uh, they give you an overdraft of 5%. So when you're adding phones to the, to the cluster, it'll let you go over up to 5% of what you have there. And it will start sounding alarms, letting you know you're in the overdraft mode so you can call your Cisco sales rep real quick and say, hey, I need more DLUs. Uh, second off, Cisco has a very generous, in my opinion, uh, demo license that comes with the CUCM server for lab environments or for environments maybe you have you're you're just now setting it up for your company and you haven't received your license file yet that happens all the time uh, the demo license will get you going it used to be uh, 50 DLUs but in some of the more recent versions of CUCM uh, they actually hang on let, let, let's see if we can do um, oh there we go for some reason, my mouse wasn't working. Okay, I'm going to go to the uh, license unit report. It'll give you a quick report of what you've got available. So you can see it comes with 150 DLUs. I mean, think about that. I mean, if we if we get a good uh, standard phone like the 7960, you take 150 divided by four. What is that? 30, 37 phones. That's that's not bad. I mean, for a lab environment at all, it used to be 50, and they give you three CC, C, uh, well, CCM CUCM uh, node licenses, so you can run a cluster of up to three servers and 150 DLUs before you even add a license. That's that's pretty cool. So that should give you a good idea of how the licensing works with CUCM. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.